What's going on? My name is Jay and in this video I want to show you how you can create tabs with only HTML and CSS. You do not need JavaScript for this, okay? Some people think that it's not possible, but it is. You only need some HTML and the magic happens in the CSS. So here you, um, you can see what I did and it works perfectly. You can see how it hides and show the actual tab. Um, so let's go ahead here in my code. As you can see, my HTML is kind of empty. I added some on my CSS, which is totally empty right now, and some Google fonts. That way it looks a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna close this. And this is our page is blank. There's nothing right now. So let, let's go and code some HTML. So the first thing I'm gonna um, create a diff with a class of let's say my tabs. This can be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be my tabs or tabs, whatever you want, okay? So this is like my container for all my tabs. And I'm gonna start creating, creating all those tabs. So here's the thing. We're gonna use input and it's gonna be the radio input. So you're gonna put type radio this is what's going to do our trick of selecting. All right, so the ID is going to be equal to, and here you can put um, uh, an ID for that specific tab. So I'm going to call it um, tab free because it's the tab for the free version or whatever I'm showing there. And the name is very important. This is the name for your all of your tabs because remember tabs are like a group and you can select only one, all right? So let's call it my tabs. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and then when your tab is selected, it's gonna do this. Checked equals to checked. So this happens when you click on the radio. It's be it becomes selected, but it's actually checked. That's, that's how it is, okay? Checked. So the first one, I want it to be checked, so we're gonna keep that. Now we need a label. So let's go ahead and do label. And this label is for what? It's gonna be for this, for the tab free. All right, make sure you add it um, for. That's why the ID is very important. Make sure that they're both connected, the input with the label. All right, and now we can say, I don't know, um, this one is the free one. That's our label. And now here, um, this is the content. So we can do just um, a class with a, an, a diff with a class of tab. And we can add a bunch of um, like paragraph. I have some paragraph here. I'm just, I'm just gonna copy and paste this. There you go. Um, and let's add um, an H2 here. This is gonna be free. All right, let's save that and let's see how it looks. And you can see we have the radio is um, checked. And then we have the content, the free, and then all this paragraph. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. So I'll, all I'm gonna do is just copy this whole thing and paste it down here. And we need to change some stuff. So make sure this one, um, let's say the ID, is, this one is silver. Um, my tapped name stays the same. This one is not gonna be checked. I only want the first one to be checked when you go to the page. All right, I'm gonna um, change this to silver, the H2 to silver. Um, and maybe remove a little bit of this to just to make sure it's a little bit different. All right, I think everything looks actually, no. Tab four is gonna be for tab silver. There you go. So the label now is connected to this input. Okay, save that. All right, so I'm gonna click this and you can see when you click, now you can click only one. You cannot click both. And when you click the label, it's actually selecting the whole thing, all right? Same thing again, let's copy and paste. Um, this one is gonna be the gold. Tap gold. Let's change the label to gold. All right, and let's just copy and paste just a little bit more 
that way is different and the names they might have. So, all right, safe. Let's see if it works. All right, perfect. So you can see now that I can click. You can only click one. They are all in the same group, which is my tabs right here, the name. All right, and now the HTML is done. Like we are done with HTML. It looks horrible, but you can fix that with CSS. Now this is when the magic happens. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open my CSS. All right, let's start with the body. Let's use like a background color um, gray and the font family for everything is going to be Roboto, Roboto, Roboto. There you go. There you go. Now we have a background and the font looks a little bit better. That's what I want. All right, so now let's do for the container, which is my tabs. And here's the trick. I'm going to use display flex. OK. Display flex. And to make sure that they are um, in order and they respect the sizes and we can stack them how we want to, I'm going to use flex wrap wrap. All right. All right, let's do a uh, max width. I don't know, 800 pixels, even maybe less 600. Let's do some margin um, top bottoms um, 50 pixels. Um, automatic left and right and some padding. Let me save that and see how it looks. All right, a little bit better. Now we have, you know, the container is 600 pixels. We have some padding. We have some margin top, top and bottom. So it looks better. Next thing I want to do is I want to hide the uh, this radio um, circle thing, right? We don't want it there. So I'm going to do my taps. Input. And this is going to be type equals to what to radio. Yep. Um, and just, we're just going to do display none. There you go. Now we have only the label, but now you cannot when you click, you can't see what are you clicking on because we don't have it now, but we're going to fix that. All right, let's style the label now. My taps label. Let's do padding 25 pixels. Remember, you can do whatever you want here. I'm just um, adding some style. Um, the background. This is like a gray. Let me save. Let's see how it looks. There we go. All right. Um, font weight. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be bold. I think we're good. All right. Let's save that. I think we're good for now. All right. Now for the tab, which is all this content. Let's go ahead and do something for that. Let's do with I want it to be 100% to take the whole thing. Um, let's see some padding. We can add some padding. Yep. Um, let's change the background color to a pure white. Save that. Here you go. All right. So now you have an idea of what's going on, right? Um, because we're using Flexbox, this is all stack in a specific order and that's it. But how do we want the, how, like how is possible, how we can put all the tabs in here? That's, that's the magic of Flexbox. You can put a specific order to the elements. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do is change the order of the tab this to one and all you have to do is this order one by default is zero okay so everything is zero right now if i put one that's going to be after everything that is zero okay so tab is going to be one i'm going to save that to pay attention there you go so now all the tabs are after the label 
now the label is in zero. So if I do this, order two, take a look at that. We don't want this. Maybe you want this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you do. Um, this is how we actually change order in Flexbox. If I put zero, it's going to go back to here, but we don't need to. If it's zero, you can just leave it like that. And now it's looking a lot better. It's looking like taps. So now all we have to do is hide it and make sure it shows only when you click the specific label. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and change a little bit the, um, the title. I want a little bit, um, the font size of that title. I think it can be, um, like 3 EM. Let me see. Yeah, that's better. It doesn't have to be that size, but I like it. All right. And now this is the magic. My taps, we're going to go ahead and put the input type equals radio. And now take a look at this. If it's checked, which is what we saw, um, like two minutes, uh, into the video, which you can actually see here. This one is checked. So the first one is checked. If it's checked, I'm going to do plus. I'm going to explain what plus is and then plus again, tab, display block. All right. I'm going to say if nothing is going to happen. Because right now, what I'm saying is when you check, for example, if I click this free label, it's going to become checked. It's going to look for the next element that is a label. So if you go to the HTML and this is checked, it's going to look for the next element. It, it needs to be the next. Okay. That's the plus sign. It needs to be. So if it's not a label, it's not going to work. So right now I say, okay, the next element that is a label and then the next element that is a tab do this. That's what I'm saying here with the plus. Okay. If the next element is not a label, it's not going to work. That is that simple. Okay. Very, very specific. All right. Now that Every time I click on a label, the tab is displaying, displaying block. What I can do is here display none. And now it disappears because it's displaying none. But if I click on, let's say silver is going to trigger this CSS right here. And it's going to check the label and tab and then, okay, display block. So let's see if that works. There you go. There you go. All right. It's working. Um, I need to make sure that we know what we're clicking. So let's go ahead here and say my taps, same thing, input type equals to radio checked plus a label. And, um, let's, change the background to white. All right, there you go. So now the free is checked because we have it here on the HTML. And now if I click the silver, there you go. Gold, there you go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have tabs working without JavaScript and you can see um, the flex flexbox and the um, CSS magic doing something very cool. And there's a lot of other things that we can do with only HTML CSS that you cannot imagine that you can do without JavaScript. So I'm going to do more videos like this and subscribe if you like them. Let me know if you don't like them, but hope you learned something new. All right, that's it.
Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.